Next up, Northwestern Colorado, we talked to sophomore outside hitter Emma Luce from the Meeker Volleyball Program. Emma, real excited to meet you. Trust me, you've earned this opportunity. I've done the research on you after we've had our discussions about who our guests might be for the Colorado Preps Network in this Next Up series. And uh, I have a lot of questions and, and I want to share them with others too. Uh, let's start with uh, your length. How tall are you? I'm about 5'11", almost six foot. You have a personal vertical jump or a, an approach touch recorded. I think last time I checked, I was 27. Okay, 27 inches. on the vert. From the time that you were a freshman, because again, you're a sophomore who's a, a already, you know, you're on a year and a half now being, you know, a key contributor for that volleyball squad. What do you think your most significant improvements are, you know, from last year where you were a newbie, right, to this year where you're becoming certainly a leader? What are the changes that are to the positive for you? I think I definitely made a change about midway through the summer. I started working out a lot. I put a lot of dedication in getting my vertical up and just staying dedicated and focused. I wasn't very focused last year. Okay. And what did you start working on? Like, you know, there were specific exercises or, or training systems you were using? I usually, when I first started, I just started off using body weight, just starting off nice and easy so I wouldn't go into something and hurt myself along the way. And then I started getting into weights. I started getting, building my core, trying to get that arm strength. Would you say that your swing is a natural thing or is it something that you've worked on to where it's become, you know, how good it looks? I would say that in the beginning of the season, which was only two, three weeks ago, mm -hmm. I think that my swing was very forced and now I'm just kind of getting that natural swing. I was a little nervous in the beginning of the season. Now that I just have that being able to place the ball without having to think too much about it, I think that I've been excelling there. Okay. And you've got some genetics too, right? A little bit of volleyball pedigree in the family. Uh, your sisters, Chrissy and Cassie, they helped build this successful Meeker volleyball program. Nice run over the last decade there for the Cowboys. Uh, they currently play Armac ball in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference for the South Dakota School of Mines squad. How would you describe their influence on you as a player and a person? They have taught me so much throughout my whole life. When I was little, they always would push me, try and be the best I can be. They would always try and train me when I was little. And I think our family is just so influenced in volleyball and we're, we all have that competitive nature. And that just makes each and every one of us want to be better than, than each other. And I think that that has been carried through my whole life and I just I love being around them and I love watching them play. I wonder if they love this part because this is noticeable. Um, you seem to have uh, gotten the length gene in your family more than they have. How did that happen and what do they think about it? They, they don't really like it that I'm taller than them. <laughs> they're kind of mad that they're a little bit shorter but they, they love the position they're in. Right. So they're not really complaining too much. <laughs> yeah, playing D2 ball, that's a good thing to go into a school like that. So for you, um, I know it's, it's way early for you. You're a sophomore. Uh, but are you thinking of future opportunities? And I guess the number one question would be is, uh, do you have interest in playing college volleyball someday? I do. I, that is my dream. Okay. I would love to play college volleyball. And hopefully it'll be somewhere big. Okay. Right now, is, as a sophomore, are there any conferences, areas, fields of study, personal situations that you've dreamt about as you think about maybe someday being a college student athlete? I have definitely thought about one of the um, conferences that I really would like to go into is the Sun Belt or the SEC. Any reason They're why you've chosen like those? They're warm. <laughs> okay, there you go. I was wondering. There it is. And, and that's real, you know. <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, let's start moving towards the Meeker Volleyball Squad. In, in, uh, beginning with you, and then we'll move on. Uh, you know, again, a really successful program that's gone to state. You're trying to go for the fourth straight state tournament. Um, one of the leaders last year was Julia Dinwiddie, who you played with as a freshman. Uh, you're now wearing the number she wore last year. She was a 13. You're wearing that jersey this year. What was the reason for the switch? Well, my number four jersey actually wouldn't fit me. It was um, way too small. So I just had to go for the biggest size, and that was the number. So Okay. There you go. That's the reality. You outgrew four. <laughs> 
and I actually ripped one of my, uh, we had a pink jersey and I went up to swing and I ripped the shoulder. So I knew it was time for a switch. Well, and, and what, a, what a cool little, I guess, honor for Julia too. She's playing a NAIA ball at John Brown University. So that's kind of cool. And you certainly were imprinted by her because she was a senior when you were just starting as a freshman. Now let's talk about uh, what's going on this year for this program. You're working under head coach Greg Cravens. This thing has been just generating so much steam in terms of success. Uh, it, it's kind of a new thing this year where you've got a lot of underclassmen. Would you say this year's squad has a style or identity that's noticeable for people like us who are, who are just getting to know Meeker Volleyball? I think that we play better as a team than we did the last few years. I think we all have that bond and we – we see each other in classes. We hang out outside of school where there's not really a lot of team drama. And I think that we excel there. And if there's no drama off the court, then there's no drama on the court. And we have that trust. And I think that that really helps us. With you specifically as an outside, you know, you've got a couple of girls that you have to have connections with. And starting with that lone senior, who's the setter, Sophia Gettert. Uh, in what way do you think she leads younger players like you? I think she, she's had an impact on me. She is a great team player. She is always, she always goes for every ball. She, she plays her hardest no matter what point, no matter if we're losing, no matter if we're winning. She just always brings that great impact to the team. And I think she excels there. And you're running a six too. So you have another setter and, and that's someone who's more your age. That's setter Tatum Kennedy. How does your connection with her work? I think we, we have a great bond. She's one of my great friends. I think that she just like Sophia, she has a great team energy. She brings the energy. She shows us that not every ball goes our way and we just have to push through. She never, she never brings negative energy. She's, she's a great team player. Is it by design or it's just early in the season tour? I notice uh, statistically you've got over half the, you know, the attack attempts. Is that something that's just happening right now because it's comfy and then it's going to evolve? You know, where does that fit right now when you look at those numbers that do pop off the page? I think that only a few of us are re returning varsity players. And I think that since we have such a young team, I think we're just trying to get it figured out. And we have those new players coming up and they're stepping up. And I think it will we'll change. I think more people will start to get the ball a lot more. And I think basically that we just have such young players. And I think that that's why. Any pressure with uh, how well your volleyball program has done within your Western Slope League? You haven't lost since, well, before you were even part of the program <laughs> within that Western Slope League. Do you feel like you have to continue that tradition? Sometimes, yes. The pressure is definitely on. I think that, I mean, it sucks to lose, obviously, but I think, I mean, the pressure is there, but at the same time, it's not like beating us down. And of course, you're going to have to be one of those key leaders now. And and how comfortable are you with that role? You're no longer a frosh. You're a sophomore. And, well, you're an impact player. I think that I'm not, I'm not too worried. I feel like it's going to be a little bit of pressure because a lot of people look up, look up to me when it comes to, like, my facial expressions and see what happens if I get mad or if I get sad or something. And I just think that I'm not worried at all. I think that it's great that people look up to me. And I'm not going to disappoint them with what's going to happen. When you talk about people looking up to you, uh, the little girls in Meeker, what, what do you want them to see when they're watching you? I want them to see someone who, who they want to be, who, like, who pushes themselves to be the best that they can be, who works hard and it pays off. I, I hope that they see that. Who has influenced you? Can you drop a name? I can. I have watched her play. Her name is Maddie Fouts. She was her freshman year of college. She played for Colorado State University. She was their libero there. And then she recently just transferred to Colorado Mesa. And she was kind of my club coach for about half a year. And she is wicked. She's a great player. She is dedicated. She puts all of her time and effort into volleyball, into school, and it really does pay off, and she's amazing. You're proud to call Colorado home. So are we. 
Since 1973, we've been getting back to the communities where we live, work, and play across our great state. And we're here to stay. If you're looking for an independent, locally managed community bank where the employees are also the owners, we would like to be your bank. We're Alpine Bank.